Hey guys, Richard of Matthews Wealth Management. Uh, we're still on the financial calculator series here, and today we're gonna be covering the uh, retirement withdrawals. So very, very common scenario. Uh, a client retires and they've got some money saved up. They've got social security and a pension coming in and they say, how much can I take out uh, of, of my IRA and, and make sure that I've got money left over? So we're gonna run through an example, a, a calculation so that we can answer that exact question. So. If, uh, if you haven't seen the financial calculator intro video, we talk about where to find a financial calculator. There are actually some free apps that you can download from the App Store or the Play Store, but either way, we're gonna cover that on a, uh, a free app today. But let's go ahead and set up the scenario. Let's say we've got a client uh, age 65, a very common retirement age. So we've got age 65. Now we have a very awkward, morbid conversation uh, where we start talking about planning horizon or time frame that we need to uh, to plan for this money to last. So typically, uh, I'll, I'll recommend 95, uh, age 95, mainly because I don't want somebody to wake up on their 95th birthday and and uh, be broke. But uh, if somebody has different family history or, or current health situation, we obviously adjust for that. But let's use that in our example here. We're going to go to age 95. So we've got a 30 year. Uh, timing uh, horizon, planning horizon, however you want to look at it. So 30 years is what we're looking at. In our example here, let's say that we have a, uh, a 401k balance of 500,000. Okay, so not too big, not too small, kind of right in the middle. Uh, we've got $500,000 saved up and that's what we want to make sure uh, lasts. Now a little kicker I'm gonna throw in here is, let's say we have a discussion and, and the client says they wanna make sure for kids and grandkids and charities that they wanna leave a certain amount of money behind. Um, you know, without having to do whole life, uh, life insurance, which would be incredibly expensive, we just spend a little bit less out of our savings. So let's say that we wanna have a legacy amount of 100,000. So effectively, he's just gonna be spending the, the 400,000 here. But um, lastly, let's assume that we need a fairly conservative rate of return. This client is uh, has social security and a small pension, so why risk money if you don't have to? It's really about having certainty in retirement and making sure we hit these goals. So we're gonna use a rate of return of 5.50%. Now obviously we would target this rate of return if there was a certain need based on expenses and a budget and so forth, but going through the financial calculator, we now need to figure out how do we input these values, all right? So the first thing is we've got 30 years. So the first thing we're gonna enter into the financial calculator is three, zero, and then at the top left we have in, and that's for number of periods. The next thing we're gonna look at is our 500,000. So we're gonna go five, zero, 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 and then this is P, V, so that is present value, okay? Next, we have this 100,000 that we wanna make sure is left over for estate planning purposes. So we're gonna do one, zero, 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 zero. A little bit of a change here. We do CHS, which means change sign. So that's effectively gonna put a minus at the beginning. This has to do with inflows and outflows. So you can do some research on that if you got a question. But then we will do P, uh, FV. So this FV is for future value, okay? And lastly, we have our rate of return of 5.5%. So 5.5I, and that stands for the interest rate, okay? So after we do that, we're solving for the payment, how much we're gonna pay out of our uh, $500,000 401k IRA. So we'll hit P, M, T, and see exactly what that looks like. So let me grab the calculator here and uh, go ahead and input this information. So first thing we've got three, zero, and that will be number of periods, five, zero, 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 is our present value. Then we have one, zero, 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 change sign, and future value, FV. And lastly, 
high for interest rate. So now we hit payment and we see $33,022.16. Now that is actually an annual amount. So what I'm gonna do is divide that by 12. Most clients think in terms of a, uh, a monthly there. So what we have in our payment on a monthly basis is $2,000. $751.85. So that answers the question, how much can I take out of my uh, 401k or IRA on a monthly basis to make sure that I, number one, don't run out of money, but most importantly, that I end up with my estate planning objective at a conservative 5.5% rate of return. So uh, join us next time for some more financial calculator videos. Uh, I, love, I love going through all of this stuff to, to just show simple calculations, but incredibly important for how do you distribute money that's saved up over a lifetime. So join us next time. We'll see you then.